What's up, coin fam? Wouldn't it be incredible to be looking through your change drawer, a roll of coins, or even a box of coins, and find an extremely rare coin that'll change your life? It's very unlikely to find a coin like that in your lifetime, but it's okay to dream, and we all love to treasure hunt. Be sure to stick around till the end of the video to learn how to identify two other Sacagawea dollars worth some really good money. Let's get right into it so this all makes sense. This is the 2000p Sacagawea dollar. It's also known as a golden dollar. Now, I don't like to call it that because it's misleading. It might be gold in color, but there's no gold in this $1 coin. This is what the obverse looks like, and here's what the reverse looks like. This video is about a very rare error called a mule die. This is a 2000 Philadelphia minted Sacagawea dollar muled with a state quarter. These are easy to spot because of the nature of the mule die error. Coins are minted with a pair of dies. A planchet passes between an obverse and a reverse die and is pressed between the dies. If this is done correctly, you end up with a regular coin with the proper heads and tail side. A mule die is when one of these dies loaded into the press is for a different coin. There have only been about 18 of these coins discovered so far, and three different die pairs have been identified. This muled Sacagawea dollar graded Mint State 65 plus on a scale from 1 to 70, and it sold at auction for $144,000. According to the PCGS website, there have been mule dollars that graded even higher at Mint State 67, and one of those was sold a few years ago at Stax Bowers Auction for $192,000. Can you imagine how much one of these would sell for if it was a perfect Mint State 70? If you want to learn more about the Wounded Eagle dollar and the Cheerios dollar, take a look at the short playlist to the left. Thanks for watching.